Welcome to the My Family Pattern video learning module series on the Big Y 700 DNA test. In this first video is a general introduction to the test. In, within this series, there are six modules. And the first one is a good orientation over how to navigate uh, the, the Family Tree DNA website associated with your results and to understand what the DNA test is and what are the genetic markers it tests, which we abbreviate as STRs and SNPs. If you already understand these basic uh, concepts, feel free to skip ahead and go to uh, one of the five other remaining videos. But Within this first video, I want to give you a general understanding of what it's going to look like if you're not already familiar. So this is the landing page on Family Tree DNA, and you can see that it gives you um, a couple different areas in which to look. On the very top portion is the Y11 test, which we'll discuss what that is, and on the bottom portion is the big Y section. In video module number two, we're gonna talk a lot about the discover uh, functions or the reports that are there. In modules three, four, and six, we'll talk about what is the block tree, how to use it, look at our big Y matches, and also take a different dive into the discover uh, haplogroup reports. In module five, we'll look at the Y DNA matches associated with the other component of the big Y, which is the Y11 test. Now, let's take a quicker, uh, a deeper dive into what we would see on what I think is one of the more important features of this is the Discover Haplogroups report. So here, we're going to look at in the next module how to understand and where our ancestors, how they migrated, and we're going to look at the migration map and the globe trekker uh, feature. And in modules three, four, and six, we're going to use the time tree and the scientific details sections. And in my opinion, the time trees and the scientific details are perhaps the most important elements um, found within your results. And those subsequent videos will take a deeper dive into that. So one of the things that I want you to understand, if you're watching this video, you may already know this, but going throughout all the subsequent videos, I'm not going to go into too much technical depth associated with Y-DNA. This is perhaps with this slide and the next slide is the deepest I'm going to get, but I do want you to know that why DNA is a specific type of genetic marker that's passed down from father to son. It allows us to trace our ancestry backwards to hopefully identify that next elusive generation. And of course, it will be associated with a paternal line. And because I'm not going to go into too much about why DNA, um, I encourage you to look at other sources to really get into the depth of it, if that's your interest. And I saw uh, Wiki, which is the International Society of Genetic Genealogy, has a lot of great information on their website, not only about Y chromosomes, but many other aspects of genetic genealogy. So when you get this big Y700 DNA test, the great Thing about it is it's actually two tests in one. If you've looked at their website for a family tree DNA, you've probably seen these two different tests. If you order the big Y700, you get the Y11 as part of it. The Y11 test tests 111 short tandem repeat markers or STR. And I will talk about what that is very briefly in a second. The big Y700 includes those initial 111 STR markers plus an additional 589 for a total of 700. That's where the test gets its name from. It also includes over 500,000 
single nucleotide polymorphisms, or the way we call it in our acronyms is a SNP, an SNP. And again, I'll talk a little bit more about that on the next slide. So when you get these two tests, you may read about and otherwise become familiar with these short tandem repeats and the single nucleotide polymorphisms. What are they exactly? Well, the STRs assesses one part of the Y chromosome and it looks at the genetic chemicals within it that are abbreviated as A, G, T, and C. And it looks at particular markers where these chemical patterns are repeated in several times. And it will look at that. And sometimes it can be repeating as many as two times or as many as six times, but it looks for those patterns. And that's what an STR or the 111 or the 700 assesses. The, the SNPs look at a different part of the Y chromosome. And instead of looking at the patterns of these base chemicals, the, the A, G, T's, and C's, it looks at one particular chemical at a particular location on the Y chromosome. And it looks to see what is its value. And I've highlighted here, it's looking at the one particular value of T. And why STRs and SNPs are important is because they mutate. And when they mutate, it is passed down from father to son. Now, these mutations are not believed to cause any type of uh, genetic abnormalities. They, these mutations just exist, but they act as unique signatures that allow particular genetic lines to be traced forward and, of course, backwards. And both of these tests have, or both of these markers, types of markers, have their benefits. They all pass to future generations. But what separates them out here is STRs, these patterns, these repeats. Sometimes that pattern will change and it carries forward. But in future generations, that pattern may change back to its original pattern. And that makes it a little less stable. But what STR markers can do is generally tell whether people are related. And typically we think of that in more modern terms in terms of surnames. And so it's a good way to say, yeah, we're probably related, but we don't yet know quite how far back. So that's what STRs can tell us. SNPs, on the other hand, when they mutate, that carries forward and they rarely, if ever, backwards mutate. And therefore, it is more succinct in being able to trace these genetic lines and hopefully discover you know, some of our unknown ancestors. It is really good at not only determining how recent somebody is related, but it can go much further back in time. So those are the things that I wanted to walk you through in this first video. I encourage you to watch some of the other subsequent videos on uh, trying to understand, you know, where we're from. So that's your ancestry, what we can look at and what we get back with our matches and what we can do with that. Um, other items that will become more familiar to you once you watch some of these videos is understanding the branches in the paternal family tree and where your branch sits within it. The fifth video looks at how to uh, look at your existing matches and the 111 level and try to identify how we can get them to um, maybe upgrade to the big Y 700 test, which will help all of us, including yourself, learn more about your ancestry. And then the sixth video is one that really takes it to the highest level of figuring out, can we actually select other individuals 
to take the big Y700 test so that it can answer very specific questions. And we'll target those individuals who have the greatest ability to answer those genetic research questions.